This is Polly Houston. Welcome to the sixth session this week on Pepdales of uh, our ongoing discussion of Lent. And I'd like to follow up uh, uh, with the discussion we had yesterday about habit um, and to get a little more specific about that. The suggestion was that uh, we often can't tell the difference between good habits and bad habits until we actually try to give up a habit and see what a hold it has on us. So let's, for example, take the habit of having a daily frappuccino at Starbucks um, and think through just how much time and effort it takes us each day to go get that seemingly innocuous little treat at 3 o'clock when we really need uh, the boost, the psychological and the sugar boost. Um, first, we have to get in a car and drive there, and that takes some time. It takes some gas. And we also have to have the money, the usually $4.50 or so, to put down for that drink. If we don't have the money with us, we have to be willing to put it on a credit card, which means we're going into some level of debt for this habit. Um, and then I think it's really important to look at how much of our um, happiness is invested in our being able to have this daily treat. And on the days that we don't get to we don't have time to get there or whatever happens to get in the way, that we find ourselves disgruntled for the rest of the day, we find ourselves feeling deprived in some way, um, we find ourselves before we actually leave for Starbucks um, thinking about going there. It's amazing when we start looking uh, in depth and really unpacking how much effect a simple habit like this one, seemingly um, harmless, has on our lives. And so this was the philosophy that drove the uh, entire enterprise of the desert is, is it down to this level of detail and seeing just how strongly um, we're shaped by this continual caving in to um, the things that uh, make us feel good. Um, we're out of time, but I'd like to thank you once again for joining me this week. I wish you a most blessed Lent in whatever way you choose to um, to observe it. God's blessings on you.